Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a tune shader using Arnold. Uh, the first thing that we do need to do is update Arnold to the latest version and this can be done by going to solidangle.com, click on Arnold, downloads, and then you can find my version on the right side and your operating system on the left. You want to install the right one. Obviously in the lab we want Bruce to do that if we haven't, if we don't have the latest version of Arnold. <coughs> So we're going to go ahead and open Hypershade, Rendering Editors, Hypershade, and here we're going to create a node using Arnold, um, Arnold Shaders. Uh, the first one is AI Standard Surface. We're going to go ahead and apply this to her head, just because she's divided into two different um, head and body. So assign material to viewport selection. You can see it's already changed over here on the right side. Next thing we're going to do is create a ramp. And this under the My tab is this ramp. We're going to delete the 2D texture and then we're going to go ahead and edit our attributes for the ramp. We're going to change it, the type to a U ramp and the interpolation to none. We're going to go ahead and also move our, our white color to the middle. We're going to put a 0 0.5. Sorry, 0.5. So it's right in the middle. Um, this is, uh, this can change. So now we're going to go ahead and connect our ramp, our ramp out color to our emission color on our AI standard surface. Nothing has happened yet, but that's because we haven't changed any of the attributes for this. And we're going to go ahead in our surf in the standard surface material, we're going to re remove the base weight to zero is gonna turn Jack into this evil monster and then um, the specular weight to zero and then she's gone. Uh, since we connected our ramp to the mission color we're gonna go to mission and put the weight up to one. Uh, this looks weird and that is because it's just a flat color and the ramp is not um, it's not we haven't told the ramp what to do yet so we're gonna go ahead and create a surface Illumination, and just called like surf, surf luminance. Sorry, luminance. And we're gonna connect the out value to the U coordinate in our ramp, and that should give the light direction or the shader direction. After this, we're gonna add textures to our ramp. This is where we add a dark, dark color map and a light color map. File. I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, some light open and then go back to the ramp select the other one that's black color go to file import and go dark there it is so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my shader network so I'm gonna select the AI standard surface 2SG edit duplicate shading network and there we have it but we have to rearrange the files here um, so I'm going to go ahead and select her body so her body assign material to viewport selection and now we have her face on her body so let's go ahead I'm going to go ahead and change that but just going to the ramp and changing these so dark, this is for the dark side, body dark. The one is for the body light. Open. And now our render should look nice. Or nicer. I'm back in Hypershade. You can export a network of shaders by going to File, Export Selected Network. And you can export it to your assets or wherever you want as my uh, dot or as an MA file. And import it into another scene if you need it there. And that's all there is to it. There are some things that this shader brings. Some of the problems are you can't have multiple lights on a character.
because it will break the way it looks so I just duplicated the light right there and you can see it even right there you can go ahead and do that and also if you change the intensity of the light it changes so back to one and it works fine but other than that it works perfectly fine I didn't find any other problems with it if anything we can have light linking on that character and that shouldn't be a problem